Hello again. In the following I will introduce you to the analysis of sound waves. In fact, there are several ways of presenting sound wave information. There is, for example, the waveform view, then we have the frequency spectrum, and last but not least, there's the spectrogram, probably the most important display of sound wave information for the analysis of linguistic sounds. Let us look at these ways of sound analysis in more detail. The waveform view provides a general view of the sound wave and displays the amplitude information over time. Here is a waveform for the short sound sample acoustic phonetics. And as you can see, we have various portions of silence. For example, small portions of silence that signal some sort of closure during articulation. So these typically occur before plosive consonants. Then we have longer portions of silence, most obviously between words, acoustic, phonetics. And we can see well visible portions of friction noise associated with fricatives such as the s in acoustic, the f in phonetics and the final s again in phonetics. And even voicing as complex periodic sound waves can be identified, especially when you zoom into such a waveform. 